Oh, but slight I delay. I've got Twitch delay. open here. Let's see. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's I, I've got Twitch open. Let's see how this no. looks. Oh, there are people. No. Oh, there we are. Oh, no. Hey. Now, now we're an advert. Now we're an advert. Well, I did lay that on. If it's for Ford Motor Cars, that's me. I'm actually the car in a very convincing costume. That's cool. Uh, I think that was an advert for Minecraft. I'm not very... Oh, sorry. My other name is George Minecraft. So that is it. Oh. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, so welcome, everybody, uh, to this section of the show. Hooray! If you see a slight layer of sweat on me, it's because I've been cutting out videos and panicking about the orders of layers. But it seems to be functioning fine. So um, I'm going to shut up now because whilst i'm technically i don't host, believe you no you know what grant you're right not to believe me um, <laughs> four score oh, seven years ago um yeah so uh, i'll hand over to our uh, illustrious gym grant howard grant howard everybody hello everyone hello and welcome to another um what's being called the grant howard game <laughs> uh, I, I like that every other game got a title um, or like, or like, like, a, like, oh, here's what we're playing in this slot. And it's like we've given the stream to Grant out for two hours, and he's gonna, he's gonna I do don't a know, thing. He's gonna Christmas all over the place. <laughs> and welcome, as you may well be aware uh, from from watching the last few years of uh, Rusty Quill Gaming and Giving. Uh, I turn up and we run a stream, and it's broadly anti-establishment. Um, it's it's blasphemous, but in a loving way. <laughs> Like a like a like a sensually loving way, a caring, too sharing, loving. too loving, overly loving, but no swears in case the Americans get wind of it. So, <laughs> oh, Grant, you know earlier when you said, "Is there anything specifically we need to say?" and I said, "No, nah, don't worry about it." <laughs> I was wrong, we... and you were a fool okay. trusting with me. Um, mm. So uh, we're just saying for the donations today, just reminding everybody that because um, little Johnny PayPal takes a thirty pence cut, if you can bump up donations by that amount, or apparently is sixty nine pence, as some rambunctious people are doing, <laughs> what nice. you like, um, then you can do that as well, and it just it, it works all for the good. Sorry, Grant, you were saying. That's fine. Please, but you you know what? Bump it up by a quid, eh? Oh, yeah, bump it up by fifty just quid. Give another tenner, you know. Yeah. Throw in a tenner. What, what... What do you need the money for? Oh, no, okay. Mike, Mike is somewhere Sorry. going, th doing this. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Please, please donate responsibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't not eat nice foods. Don't skip nice things. Only Great. give spare money. Great. Donate for yourself first. A message yeah. as powerful as it is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Parents welcome. Welcome to the Grant Howard game. Uh, we are playing I'm a Lover, Not a Fighter, uh, which is a hack of Honey Heist. It's a hack that I wrote uh, because it's been kind of hard to come up with, with new one-page games once you break the 40 mark. So I've started to uh, I've started to go back and, and just, just sort of replow those old fertile fields to see if I can grow any new game crops. <laughs> so the plot of Lover, Not a Fighter is... Oh, you know, I should open the PDF. That'd be good, wouldn't it? I should probably open it. You well. are a charming devil, a beautiful cutthroat vagabond, a buckler of swash, and you're always getting caught up in wild adventures. You're on a mission for the queen, for yourselves, for fortune? Work it out, we'll get to that. To rescue someone who's been kidnapped by the Baron, you strike tonight at his annual masked ball. Now, that is, that's the overall, you know, theme. It's a bit, it's, it's a bit lower concept than Honey Heist, but hopefully we can... We can struggle our way through. Now, I know that all of, our, all of you have already made characters. So, you are you are uh, reclining in your... I, I don't know enough about history to try and guess what century this takes place in, but it's definitely not now. It's gothic times. Ooh. Yeah, there we are. Lots of you're heavy in, eye makeup. Yeah, oh my, yeah, you can barely see for the eye makeup. Uh, you are... everywhere we go. Yeah, me, me and Imogen are definitely like restoration kind of mm. periods oh, yeah. mm -hmm. it's uh we ended yeah, up just like... randomly rolling quite similar <laughs> well let's let's meet let's meet our heroes um you are you are as you do every christmas eve you are uh, you are sitting in your tall gothic tower uh, crows flutter around the outside making noises like ah! There is a uh, there, there there is snow thick on the ground and the stars are clouded by clouds. As you sit around the fireplace and consider, you know, Christmas and the and the, the fate of all beings, who do we meet 
on this on, on, on this Christmas evening. Let's start off with one of the Puritans. <laughs> and we'll go with Lydia, you first. Ah, it's so good that you it's so good that you've come to our Gothic Tower. Uh, my name is uh, Consequentious Haverstaff. Um, I am uh, an ostensibly pious, carousing mastermind. Uh, which I say I don't know what bon vivant means, but that was on the Good list. Good vivant, I believe. Good, mm -hmm. excellent vivant. Such a vivant. Um, just, just such great vivant. Like, what, what was the first name, Lydia? Right Sorry. Uh, Consequentious Haverstaff. Consequentious Haverstaff. Cool. Okay. Uh, is it, so, um, yeah, Restoration era. Uh, ostensibly so pious. I'm so much more pious than than you are pious. My hat. Uh, is very severe, very Protestant, very, you know, black and white, just just little white feathers, very plain, four foot long, ostrich, gorgeous, they flop about and they get tangled in the lace, but it's all very pious, um, you know. Uh, hair, I, I should say to people, like, I'm not just randomly, these are stats we were told to come up with. Okay, so yeah. stats is a strong word. <laughs> okay. What's, what's your encumbrance, Lydia? What's your strength? What's yeah. your, what's, what size is your habit? The hair... What's your but, base attack bonus? Uh, my, my base attack your bonus combat is... combat modifier. Is, is it, is it, is it combat maneuver modifier? Anyway, uh, yes. Um, more importantly, their hair... Mm -hmm. Charles II wishes baby. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> their preferred kiss just involves beards. The mm. more beards, the more kinds, the better. Trimmed and stylish, rugged, rugged and tousled, painted on, you know, whatever. Brilliant. Um, the the sort of person I fancy. Uh, they can also handle grey scale. Um, tra yeah, like, I, yeah, actually, I read that. What does that mean? Tragically, like grey scale, like black and white. You know, when you grey scale a screen, like everything is very puritan. Everything has to be black and white. You know, um, I I like don't know. Grey grey scale? No, it like it's like it's in your print it's, settings. Printed graphs. document. Yeah, when you yeah, I, I know, I know black and white, but it's, it's the way that you can handle grayscale. Yeah, I like, don't know. Like, so you can be attracted to people. In, like... they, they live in good grayscale stuff. You know, it's all it's all monochrome. You know. Oh, I see. You can pull it off. Yeah, you can pull it off. Right, I, I see. I see. I thought it was like a challenge to to look at things without bright colors. I get it. No, right. no, okay, no, yeah. no, no. They 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 can pull it off, and they do. Oh. Um. Uh, my character doesn't really know it. They were born into the wrong time, but they, they, I, ideally, their partner would be doing a master's at a London design school in about 2015 when everyone was wearing asymmetric. I mean, you know, you were wearing this stuff, like asymmetric grey, black, massive scarves. Mm -hmm. uh, they would make adverts that can't be called adverts. Their experiences. Mm -hmm. They work in Old Street. They, okay, they say I they think, like. I think that's, that's probably enough. Yeah. Just. Just for now, I think we've got a rough idea of your of, of your. I mean, um... You wanted the name of a sword. Uh, Can you get to it later? Okay, what's the sword called? Derby <laughs> sword. Uh, I've called it oxbow because oxbow. I've never found a use for that word before. So it's, okay. it's like an oxbow lake. It's curved, you know. Mm. Mm. Okay, so that was con that was con consequent. That was Mr. Haverstuff. Haverstuff. Okay. Is that like exclaimed um... like you would say? Have a care, sir. Tim, the camera pans round from this <laughs> floppy fop to 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 a different character. Who 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 are we meeting next? Me. Um, my name is Tombola Ignotum. Um, I am a mysterious artistic pistolier um, <laughs> with a incredibly elaborate question mark shaped fascinator with a flowing silken veil that as well is embroidered with question marks and it entirely obscures uh my uh feet my 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 features my features um on my hip <laughs> i have what i looked up yesterday is called an estoc which is like a sword but it's got no edges it's just for poking and i call it the oh. pointed question you sensing oh. a theme ah, i see yeah. like a big needle it's like a big needle. It's it's very mm. much like a big. But you try and use it for snowing, for snowing, for sewing. Except you snow, you sew death into a person. You understand. <laughs> um, 
I, my type, um, I like people who are aloof and unattainable. Uh, my knowledge that I, as an individual, can never truly reveal myself to another person drives me towards those with whom I could never really be able to get close to in the first place, and it just, just takes it off the table. I'm, t I'm too mysterious to have a relationship, because after all, all the mystery's gone, so I go for people who will not have me. Just to keep it. I am, it's a defense. I am intrigued cool. to know what title you'll be, be referred to. Uh, Lydia, I'm presuming this is that's, that's a Mr. Haverstaff or a Lord Haverstaff? Um, I'd I'd go with a with Which a Sir Haverstaff. Sir Haverstaff. Sir Haverstaff. And it's always pronounced like there's a comma, like Sir Haverstaff. <laughs> so, I'm, I'll just I'll put I'll put the comma in there. There we go. Um, and for Tombola, Tim. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with the Mister for the simple for the simple fact that I didn't think about it enough beforehand. So I'm not going to gung ho try and represent another gender live on stream. I feel like that'll go poorly. So I'm going to stick with Mister for now. All right, fair enough. Um, uh, Mister Tumbola Ignotum, the mysterious veiled man. Yeah. Would you like to know my tragic backstory, Grant? It's very good. <laughs> Can you give me? Yeah. Um, like, I want your character to look out the window. And then like, have have a wist like there's a reflection something something reminds you of your tragic backstory and we get a little flavour of it a little little taste. I see a little Proustian Madeleine. <laughs> I see biscuit, a isn't it? cartwheel rolling down the street. It reminds me so much of that giant tombola drum that crushed my parents at our village's pig admiring contest all those years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak of it anymore. <laughs> Part two Great, later. Thanks for that. Um, next up, Sasha. Yes. So I am playing uh, Brandenburg Brando Windle Scranch, <laughs> stealing spotlights and hearts since 1632, 1789, 1854, 1923, 2002, 2374. Point m dash ampersand hashtag as appropriate. Um, Sorry, I missed all of that. You were a robot. Oh, I was just trying to cover all my bases. Okay, cool. Go on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm playing a rough and tumble artistic brackets performance sword fighter, so stage fighter and stunt person extraordinaire. Um, my hat is flouncy and feathered, taken from uh, period appropriate Julie Daubigny as a memento of our particularly salacious night together. Um, it's somewhat out of style which is why I've been able to escape with it and not be hunted down to take it back. But for those in the know, I like to think it's, it's a marker of like, oh, I recognize that hat. Who, who um, was the owner's hat? Who's the, who's the hat owned by? Sorry, uh, I wanted okay. to make sure they appear. Juliet Dobigny. Sorry, perhaps I should have uh, not assumed the same historical knowledge of intensely dramatic bisexual sort I of have. I, I was the only person in my school to receive an ungraded mark at history. <laughs> I'm so bad at history. They refuse to write on the paper. Are, Grant, you've actually reduced the <laughs> Don't net amount of history the world known. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I've taken history out of the world. <laughs> we used to knew who won the Battle of Britain. We don't yourself. anymore. Absolutely not. No, presumably something yeah. exciting happened. Um, okay, and as far as um, kissing goes, what are you into? Um, well, I like anything particularly dramatic. So if it's not going to kind of send people around me, like looking at the kiss into a quiver, then I'm not interested. Quivering. Okay. Sorry, Grant, can you just say that again closer <laughs> to the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I nearly got you though. I'll get you one of these that, days. That, that, that's that, 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 maybe like a donation goal. <laughs> Quivering. Maybe like a donation goal. Like so. it away free now, Grant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That's the teaser. If you want those high value, high quality flags, a WAV file, yeah. <laughs> an Org Vorbis. <laughs> Get it on that high quality streaming platform whose name I escapes mm -hmm. me. Wait, t tied? I can't remember. Mm. Uh, and finally, uh, we have Imogen's character. Who is? Uh, my character is the very reverend uh, <laughs> Benedict Avalanche. <laughs> this one being called. Mm. Uh, so he's yeah. ostensibly pious, acrobatic thief. So he similarly sports an enormous Puritan hat um, that shows his piety, but it is also adorned with a peacock, a whole peacock, and a lot of 
small candles in elegant holders, which he can use to cast a flattering glow onto his face and create a romantic ambiance. Mm. <laughs> or a small fire. Or a small <laughs> controlled hat fire. <laughs> not going to lie, that's happened before. <clears throat> he carries a sword stick known as Solomon's Opinion, which is how <laughs> the black Malacca cane named the Queen of Sheba. So fetch me the Queen of Sheba, we need to ask Solomon's Opinion is the kind of thing he would say if he had time before he stabbed somebody. There isn't always time. <laughs> sometimes you just need to stab. But when there is. Yeah, just sometimes. There's no time. Oh, wait, wait. I've got something pithy. Yeah, you can say it later, obviously. It's um, not he's, the same he's, over a course. He fancies rich. <laughs> I imagine a lot of your sword fighting style is about arranging like a 30 second gap and like <laughs> like making sure the making sure the sword fight takes place in the place of a good like um audio, that sort of thing. Yeah, and then prompting my interlocutor to give me like a good feed line as well. There's a lot of like <clears throat> going around the houses before I can say, well, let's ask Solomon's opinion. Pulling some real happen. Darren Brown stuff to <laughs> seed it into the... <laughs> <laughs> Decorating the house with posters. Great, okay. Um, and who do you like kissing? Uh, I like kissing rich, credulous orphans. And my favourite <laughs> kiss is the inside of the wrist. I sport a luxurious false beard and moustache. Um, my scar, which you did ask for, but nobody else mm -hmm. got to say, but I have a very convenient cross shape over my heart, which I've been used, I've used to convince people of my holiness on more than one occasion. Um, and I have a tragic backstory, if you'd like it. Uh, can you give me a, 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 similar, a similar flash? Um, no, but just by which I mean, give me a similar flash and then describe the entire thing in full. <laughs> it... Give you a flash. <laughs> oh, the back oh, okay, yeah, quickly, quickly tell the backstory. Gotcha, not that kind of stream. Um, yes, so I, the reason that I got into the priesthood was because I was caught robbing a monastery, and to get out of it, I pretended to be a foreign exchange monk. And I was just confused, and I got stuck there for 10 years as a novitiate before I was able to make good my escape, wearing a false beard and moustache, which I still sport to this day. Does it conceal a small... My really intentions, gosh. only slightly. <laughs> you telegraph that hard with your face. Stop now and just play that on repeat, I yeah. think. But... I, I, I'm worried we wouldn't quite get the big bucks in. <laughs> we, 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 we wouldn't quite get the big bucks, the big bucks that you bring in for that 1pm Grant Howitt slot. Yeah. <laughs> Prime time, Grant. Prime time. I, I do have a tragic backstory, but it is just... Tragically, Consequent just knows that he looks best in autumnal shades, but they're illegal. Ah, uh, yes, they were outlawed um, at the um, at the. As was top. Christmas. What the council. Was it was the it was the Council of L'Oreal, I believe. The Council of L'Oreal, yes. Yeah, they um, came forward and outlawed autumnal colours. And Chris, well, no, Chris, Christmas is still very much happening for the purposes of this game. I, I, I know. I, I, I need to save it. No. I know that you're well. You're a Puritan, perhaps. Yeah. It's yeah. like. Like it to say ostensibly pious, not Oliver Cromwell. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, so yeah, okay. Crom. Yeah. Um, so your tragic backstory is you're never quite dressed right. Sasha, would you like a tragic backstory? I got a tragic backstory already. Um, which is that Brando always dreamed of being a clown. Um, but unfortunately <laughs> early reviews uh said that their comic timing rendered their slapstick overwrought, unfunny, and painful to watch, <laughs> according to, you know, parents and paediatricians. Yeah. I thought your tragic backstory was just you always dreamed of being a clown and you couldn't get it to stop. No. <laughs> Mo like a series of nightmares. Most tragic of yeah. all. Most tragic of all. They well, actually, got... the tragedy is when I wake up. Ah, uh, yes, just, yes, I'm yeah. But most you, 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 you stumble yeah. through your yeah. your uh, your quarters, uh, bedclothes everywhere. <laughs> L last night's clown makeup artlessly applied, streaking off your face. You stand on a nose. <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> drinking drinking clown juice out the bottle. Yeah. Sorry. Grant Howard brand clown juice available from the merch store. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, we, we give a percentage to clown charities. I start my day the honking way with Grand House clown juice. <laughs> That's Grand House goose juice. Okay, oh, That's a different brand. 
It's a very, it's a very difficult mixed marketing. It's so hard as your manager. Much, much cheaper to make Grant Harris goose juice. Goose much juice. easier to juice a goose than it is to it is to milk a clown. You got to juice a goose because the goose is loose, but the clown uh, is hard to find. Depends on the clown. Yeah, true. Mm. Sleeping clown, Look. juice it right up. Okay, okay. I, I know we're supposed to be getting to the game, but clowns are hard to milk. They can move around. They've, they've got advanced planning techniques. Geese are geese are comparatively pretty stupid. You give that goose a squeeze, you anyway. You keep looking out the out your window as you can. You've got a whole of geese. Geese, and it's just it just turns clowns. out to be They'll fancy. milk themselves all over the place. Just follow them around with a bottle. Just I clearly don't have a huge understanding of biology. Um... <laughs> I really don't like the idea. I really don't like the idea of a crowd and the cloud enthusiastically milking itself. You're running after it. Bring out. Oh, an old clown milk! It's gonna come right out of the clown. I've just got a message from Mike, and it's just all exclamation marks. I don't know what it means. Right, brilliant. He must be really enjoying this. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Cool. So, clown milk. You, uh, you're, you're, you're drinking your traditional Christmas glass of eggnog made from made from cloud milk. Um, when there is a knock on the door, this is unusual because it's a balcony door and you're on the fifteenth floor of a tower. Hang on, hang on, get some foley. It's a metal door, apparently. <laughs> Who could that be at this time of Christmas? And through the window, as twere. Did we take out the trellis? I was talking about that trellis. It's climbable. I said it was climbable. Did I not say it was climbable? There is. But the roses are so beautiful. The it roses. Must be Saint Nicholas himself, come direct from the Council of Nicaea to land upon our balcony. Well, let's shop and not get that. I've got. I've had too much clown milk. I, 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 I rise from I'm my, my beard. I rise from my for some reason floor beanbag and walk over <coughs> to the, the door and fling it open. Yes. Standing uh in front of you, bedraggled, beaten, slightly uh, uh, bad, bedraggled, beaten, exhausted is Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. The f this this will be the first um, entrance Wipe of Rudolph boobs, the Red Nosed Please, before you. Ah, ah, he says. You can you can see that he's been uh, he's been he's been injured on the side in his flank. Oh, I'm terribly hurt, sir. Oh, yeah. I, I I flew here as fast as I could. And he 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 leans forward two quivering hooves and tries to wipe them on the. Brandy for that strange horse. <laughs> I get a I get a glass of brandy and throw it directly over the wound for disinfection reasons. Oh, 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 th thank you, sir. That's okay. Oh, that'll heal me right up, he says, rubbing him, rubbing him with a little hoof. Oh. Consequences, this is the magic brandy, correct? Oh, oh, they're all magic, darling. Excellent. <laughs> it's, all, it's all our chemical runoff. <laughs> Rudolph stands up to his full four foot? Four, how tall's a reindeer? Four foot height? Um... Yeah, he stands up that tall. Thanks, Richard. Rudolph stands up about yay high. Yeah. No. Well. Well. Yeah. He. Ri oh God. <laughs> Come on, Rudolph Grant. stands up. Imagine he is reindeer. Maintaining different heights. <laughs> yeah. Ru well, yep. Rudolph stands up and glitches through a series of heights <laughs> uh, before finally before finally rationalising himself at normal reindeer height. Uh, his uh, his his red nose th uh, throbbing in time weakly with his heartbeat. Oh, sirs. Oh, yeah, it's all sirs, isn't it? Just to make sure the pronouns. Yeah. Uh, Very good. Sir, I'm happy with sir for now. Oh, sirs, it's, it's horrible. It's it's your enemy, the Baron, he says, and looks over the mantelpiece where you've got the picture of the Baron. Uh, can lightning go off in the background and it flashes Absolutely. in the face? Uh, uh, Tim, Tim, I'm upset you asked me if it could. I'm so sorry. I'll see myself out. That's okay. Uh, lightning goes off. <laughs> Dun dun dun! Oh, that piano that? always, it, like whenever the lightning tower gets struck, the bloody piano and it just. Ugh, well, need to you want that out. You want to. I'm trying to be sorry, now. sirs. I've wired up the piano to the. I've wired up the auto piano to the lightning rod. Just. Uh, dramatic Stop effect. trying to bring the piano to life. How many times have we told you it's against God, it's against nature? And the guitars! They've come out in protest against it as well! They don't like God it. help me one day, I'll marry that piano! 
from the Rudolph. You've oh, no, no. no, no, no. This is this 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 is this this fellow has a different voice. This is your oh, manservant. Right. Sorry, sorry. I've heard Rudolph's kind of over here. Rudolph's kind of London injured. Okay, sorry. Get it? It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. I thought as he was getting iller, maybe his voice was changing. No, oh, it's me, your manservant. All oh, right. Well, Willingham. Willingham. I... Willingham, piano lover. Willingham. Yes, my dad, but my father was a piano lover before me, and his dad before him. God knows how I was born. Willingham, <laughs> Willingham. Um, God indeed does know these things. Mm. Willingham, it's probably not the best time, but I did want to talk about docking your salary for what we found you doing to the piano last time we came back from a trip. But we'll 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 come back to that later. I entirely understand, sir, and respect your decision. Uh, however, perhaps, perhaps best now you talk to the reindeer. Oh yes, uh, Rudolph. Uh, what happened? The, the camera pans over to, to 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 the quivering reindeer, and you hear the <laughs> of a piano being dragged out of the room and down a flight of stairs. That poor piano. Um, the we'll Baron. Keyboards by the end of the year. The Baron. <laughs> I guess that is an electric piano, isn't it? The the Baron says. He's kidnapped. He's kidnapped the most, oh, the most Christmassy person of all. Santa. Me? Santa. No. Santa. No. 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 He's diametrically opposed. I believe. <laughs> oh yes, I get Jesus. my color theory mixed uh, up. Ah, the Great yeah. Christmas v Easter Wars. Yes. Oh, so Santa. many dead. So many. So many. But you say you say the Baron has taken Santa Rudolph. Yes, he's taken Santa and he plans to sacrifice him to his dark gods, sirs. It seems like he's trying to steal Christmas. This has only happened in every single piece of Christmas media ever. I'm completely unprepared for this. I, we didn't think it was possible. No, well, and here exactly we are. Who is this dark god and what benefits does he offer above the current package I'm receiving? Um, uh, well, God. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I didn't. I, 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 I uh, he reaches into his reindeer pocket with both hooves. He doesn't have opposable fingers and pulls out a, a and pulls out a pamphlet. Oh, cool! Yeah, thank um, you. Oh. Um, so you've decided to join the cult of Azasoth. Oh. Uh, and it, 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 it details about the swirl and chaos at the center of the universe, uh, the blind idiot god uh, dancing to the to the tune of an unseen piper, that sort of thing. Uh, so, Free so, so, pen so, when you sign up. Yeah, free ah. pen, and uh, and if you and if you if you stay subscribed for three months, it's charming cottage clock. Oh, very Ooh. nice. Uh, you can so introduce it's your big friend. eye in the middle. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. I can see yeah, the appeal. Uh, would you be interested? I, we actually both get um, some cabbage seeds if I sign you up. It's... No, no. <laughs> well, I mean, anything slightly more glamorous than cabbage seed, maybe an arugula or. Uh, <clears throat> or kale. I've heard An kale. Aubergine. Yeah. Aubergine. Yeah. Can't grow that yes, in these we climates. We cannot allow oh. ourselves to be tempted away from Christmas by the promise of exotic seeds and crops. Uh, by the Christmas promise of Christmas. cannot be taken by the Baron just to be sold upon the black market or whatever that brigand will do with it. No, you are completely correct. You are correct. Yeah. We are very pious holy people definitely very pious as always very Brando, uh, the voice super of doing reason. the right thing all the time yes the voice always always the correct thing i mean it's, just, it's that voice inside me that tells me what the right thing is to do which coincidentally is usually the thing i've just done it helps so rudolph <laughs> yes. the, the question yes. would be why did you not oh. die in defense of your lord easy question not a problem. Well, uh, as as I heard before, I'm primarily suited for defence. <clears throat> uh, once I've sustained several terrible falls, oh, the, the, the wounds have opened up again, sirs. That magic More brandy's brandy. worn off. Uh, um, my, my, I have a little ferment for my mouth, sir. No, this is a Puritan household. <laughs> this is only for uh. wounds. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wound brandy. The manservant, we catch him at it. We, we dock his pay. Mm. Let's dock your pay. I'm not. I'm not currently. I'm not trying to be paid manservant anything. Yeah. I did not. I was unable to. I, I. I. I flew bravely at the Baron with an aerial attack, 
But he fended me off with his with his devilish sword play and black magic, sir. Uh, yeah, so I flew cool. here as soon as I could to try and get the four most Christmas loving people I could find. <laughs> Two pure yeah. and some more. <laughs> <laughs> where, where might they be? You don't know well, many people, do you, Rudolph? <laughs> well, they had also been kidnapped by the Baron. And yeah. I should note, this all took place on December the 21st. So now I've come here. <clears throat> I you weren't at the top of my list, yeah, honestly, but you're the only people honestly, who met me in and who were alive. Rudolph, how many groups oh, were right. above us? Just let us know. How many, how many groups <laughs> down were we? we are you honest? Yeah, we could take it. Just, we'd just rather you were yeah. honest. Just how many? I don't, oh, um, just tell us. Just tell us. Just how many? It's fine. We, we how many is this, right? counting, like, just, is this counting the living groups? or? Yeah, All everybody that you thought, I'm them. going to them. And then you mm. had to go down the list. You're in the top 37. That hurts. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm quite impressed. I, I take Didn't that. say where you were. How many people were in each group? If we're the 37th group and some of them were rather large groups, is there anyone left in all England you haven't asked? Hang on, let me get my spread. Well, I could fly all around the world, you see. <laughs> it wasn't just England. Fair enough, I just thought with the Puritanism. Done some stuff. Um, technically, I'm from that land, I believe. Ah, oh, fair enough. No, I, I stand corrected. You so immediately run him through for being a foreigner. Land, I would have expected a Laplandian accent, so if you could just affect one now to prove your identity, that would be most helpful. All right. Yes, being very careful not to cause offence to mm. any people who might be listening. So make it keep it sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you nailed it. <laughs> Hi, it's me, a Laplander. This is what I sound like. This is what we all sound like, and it's perfectly normal. There you go. There you go. I believe it's it. not. Well, that all we definitely don't sound like a messed up Norwegian, which is what was, which was my first port of call. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we've now we've sorted that. Where <coughs> is the Baron? We must away to defeat the Baron. The Baron is it? Oh, and only half an hour's in, sir. I'm trying the, my best, um, Grant. I'm trying my the, best. The ba <laughs> The Baron. Oh, it feels so nice to use my natural Laplandish accent. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, chat, I know Lapland isn't in Norway. That's as close as I could get. <laughs> I know it's a country. So, um, we, uh, well, the Baron is in his big haunted mansion. As is tradition, he has his Christmas ball there every year mm -hmm. on Christmas Day. And I managed to, he gets out of his pocket for, um, for invites. Four invites for you. Well, technically I got eight invites, but you're not going to need the other four. We might want a plus one. Well, I mean, we might. We want to you might have a date. Time bring a partner. A pure date. I have date. ample interested dates who might you... enjoy accompanying me to... That's just the kind of judgment that I'm What are you saying about this? This is just... Maybe you should okay. Go to... okay, okay, okay. Have, have two tickets each. One for you and one for your massive egos. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I'm going to clip-clop off away. Back to Lapland. Clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. <laughs> he, he, he walks off into the, into the night sky, leaving you with, honestly, very little time to get dates. Yeah. And he's going to be free on Christmas. Well, well, I'm going to invite I mean... the current monarch, whomever that may be. Hello, it's me, the king. I'm glad you rang. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I'm just skipping for this already. You rang me up. What is it you wanted? Um, well, this is Tombola. We met. Um, well, we haven't met. I've not met. Ah, him, the pig seen... admiring contest. Yes, I remember a terrible yes. accident. You, you, you snipped the ribbon, which unfortunately eventually led into the uh, to the events by which all of my family were crushed by a giant, giant Tombola drum, and I was. My complicity in. was never yeah. proved. Never proved. <laughs> never proved. But I judge you the most unobtainable person in the kingdom. So I was wondering if you wanted to come to a big haunted ball with me. I love big haunted balls. No, no, I've changed my mind and I hang up. I'm going to call the monarch of the next realm over. Ring, 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 ring. Okay. Hello! Hello. Um, you've not met You're me. You're all right, pal! I am all right, pal. How are you? I'm doing all right. It's me, Big Jim, the king of Scotland. <laughs> yes, recently coronated Big Jim. 
Aye. Would you like to come to a ball yeah. with me, Big? Oh, all right, yeah, sure. Okay, well. Uh, Sounds good to me. I'll I'll pick you up in a few minutes. Bye. No, don't worry. I'll, I'll make an entrance at some point when when you're around the GM. Oh, okay. I'll just so I'll just let you come in diegetically, as it were. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll arrive fashionably late. Wonderful. Lovely to see. Lovely. Right. Hope to see you, Big Jim. I did okay. not expect them to say yes. I didn't expect that. It kind of puts me off. <clears throat> Really? It's the first rule of improv, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry, oh, hang on. I didn't hang that up properly. No, yeah. Ah, uh, very reverend. Are you uh, yeah. really on Christmas? Ah, uh, yeah. No, I'm. I, I'm going to bring my boyfriend, who you don't know, but he uh, goes to a different um monastery. Oh sure. <laughs> um, in. Oh no, that's Canada. fine. I wasn't. I wasn't going to ask you anyway. That's. I just. I just yeah, wanted no, to know. No, 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 I just wanted to know if you're free. <laughs> You know? Just, that, that was just, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just gonna text him now, actually. That's, that's cool. I, I knew, I knew. You know, be funny. Uh, really I, funny. I, I'm fine with that. You know, it's cool. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. He'll, he says it. He says he'll meet me there. Like he's okay. got. He's, got, he's going with some other friends and like. Yeah, Can you? Yeah. Um, Can we just uh, have... <laughs> you? Give us a couple of facts about about but... your boyfriend who goes to a different tower. Uh, it's like like a name, like a he's cool. like a height, Monk. face. Does he have a car? Monk, 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 Abbey. <laughs> Monk, Monk, Macabby. Monk, Monk, Macabby. Yeah, like <clears throat> like his mates yeah. call him Monk. Like you know, it's it's like, a, oh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nickname which is the same as the first name. Yeah, yeah, that but man, you have to you British. have to be there. Monk. Like Macabby. Monk, Monk. Abby, um... Is he? Uh, and he is a monk. Yeah, no, we're, yeah, no, he's totally. So he's all he's a, with a, monk, monk, a monk, 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 You don't call a monk, monk. monk. Or his designation. Uh, he's <coughs> this monk, monk, monk really. No, no, that would be monk. Monk. that would brother. be really silly. Yeah, his brother. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Brother, monk, monk, Macabi. Not, not, not my brother, obviously. <laughs> no. no, of course. Brother, brother, monk, monk. McAbby. Your, bro your, your brother's name is Brother Mark, Mark McAbby. <laughs> and he's got a car and his own flat. Wow, it's the 70s. I know, right? Okay, sure. Yeah, his, his, parent, his parents just like really trust him and they're just like, oh, we're, we're, we're going off around the world and like just have like, they just, you know, he's did, really did mature. He, did he maybe Please say pick the first car? <laughs> did, did they maybe say mm. cart and you just didn't hear the end or is it actual? I mean, car has meant you can have a railway car or a, a automobile point. car, but in this case, it's it's just a it's an enclosed car pulled by two other monks. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. So okay. like a like a yeah. uh, like a palanquin sort of a thing. Yes. Yeah, no yeah. wheels. Own monk car. Okay, Lydia. Uh, sorry, um, sorry. Consequentious. Are you bringing a date, or are we going to play the game? Asking if Brando <laughs> it happens to be free just coincidentally on uh, Christmas. Well, I mean, I, I, I appreciate the offer, but I was actually planning to offer my. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We'll never know. Da, da, this da. happens sometimes. You just have to spin them round four times. Oh, oh, and guess what? Oh. When somebody disappears, it messes up the the frames. So everybody's it's a Christmas day. miracle. We'll uh, just have to. Yeah. No, we're messed up. We're messed up. It's all messed up. Yes, we'll just have to. Okay. There's the only option is to wait until. Yep. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Has everybody been jumbled? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grant. Is it... Wait, no, we're back. No, no, Sasha and Tim are not. Are I can fix that. I just want to make sure that uh, that Sasha is back in the right place um, first, because I'm still not seeing any. Hello, no. hello. hello. Uh, I can hear you. Yeah, you can hear me. I can't let me see you. let me check my voice and video settings. I do apologise. That's okay. We just want to know who you're going to the castle on a date with. Yeah, it's really exciting. Course, it's a really invite, traumatic moment. I also invite um, a very new and up and coming Royal Shakespeare Company. Oh, the whole, the whole of the Royal Shakespeare oh, Company. Yes, I would like to. Yes, yeah, so the the cast. My plus one. Uh, they have one name, right? Like, and you know, it's a name. 
Oh, cool, like yeah, why not? Sure! Voice them okay, all. The Voice them they, they could all crowd around yeah. the ticket. Yeah, why don't you, you put them on, call them, and they can put themselves on speakerphone. The like Royal, that. I'm sure they'll love that. The Royal Shakespeare Company. Yeah, they might have a representative, who knows? Who knows? Might be Shakespeare at this point. Um, yeah. Just so you're aware, Sasha, we, st we, we are still without video. Yes, I'm... You... I keep closing and opening to check. Okay. Uh, a plug of the unplug of the old webcam. It's like my tech. Do it. Okay, a glass of water well, while you sort out this tech issue. It seems to be working now. Ooh. It's not Maybe. working anymore. Okay, let me plug and unplug. He lied. He's and he's unplug. going to get the full works of Shakespeare. He is. He's never coming back. Never no, coming back. I mean, if, if I had the Push option... him too far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Sasha, we crossed the line there. Yeah. Uh, you the know whole what? Shakespeare. Oh. Oh, that's looking promising. It Ooh. has swapped us again. Yes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's Chris's Whoops. miracle. Whoops. It's a festive miracle. Woo! Right. Um. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess I don't have a date. Oh, well, I mean, you have only asked the other players. Why not branch outside the tower? Why not branch outside Perhaps the you'll tower? meet someone. Perhaps you'll, perhaps you'll meet someone at the What party. about the piano? The you... piano's mine. You get your filthy hands off her. Oh, oh, right. Rudolph? Ru 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 I didn't say a ring off my piano. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's really a stylish theme. <laughs> if you like it, then you should have it regularly tuned. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but it's happened now. If you like it, keep your manservant away from it. Yeah. <laughs> he gets into the room, Brandy. He's gonna, he's gonna ruin that piano. <laughs> dun dun is dun. That, is, is Rudolph still around? No, Rudolph left a long off, ago. Remember after after his voice got normal. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah. He, See, he walked off yeah. like. Okay, okay, okay. Like Which everybody does. <laughs> let's <clears throat> let's team up. Let's team up. We need to get have a stuff a date for the party tomorrow. Yes. yes. That we can't go to the party without a date. No. We can't start the game until the <laughs> has a date. I go so to the local tavern. Uh, yeah, tavern noise, tavern noise. There's a guy polishing and polishing a mugsy spot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna jing, jing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, they are, uh, uh, have stuff is asking the barman, yeah. What's my voice like? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, I'm very single. You're it's very... the, it's the smell and the fact I keep touching inside the cups. Yeah. Okay. Why? No, my please. mate fancies you. No, thank you for the information. You want to cut yourself off a slice of this beefcake? What, an extra big portion of this beefcake with a cup of coffee? Well, what is beefcake? I mean... <laughs> like beef mm. I'm just going to... Uh... Anyway, I, I, it's okay. I need to, I need to go put, put, put in a new barrel. Excuse me. How does one have a message of etchings yeah? of local people? Ooh! And Ooh. I like the, I, you could, like, perchance, fit through. through them. Yes. Decide to see if you like the look of any of these etchings. I, I would and like then, to take a look at your etchings, yes, please. Thank and then you. I could use my homing pigeons to go and send oh, your message oh. to the appropriate person. Yes, wonderful. Lydia, Let's... Lydia, please make me a lover check. Let's use some dice. Um, okay. so, yep. um, please make me a lover check to try and find the yep. perfect date for the ball. Okay, on so 16th I roll century Tinder. a d6. Yeah, if it, if, it, if it matches your skill, you roll 2d6. Oh, you're a mastermind. I don't think it does. That's, okay, no. Well, I, I rolled a five. Okay, that's a fail. So who don't you want to go to the ball with? Uh, the barman. Okay. <laughs> the barman is kind of a slice of that meat. Hey! Hey! All etchings of the barman. <laughs> he, he, looked, poses. he looked much younger in the etchings. Uh, It'd be weird if he looked older. Um. <laughs> Here he is with a fish. Here he is with some kids. Brackets. Not my kids, winky face. <laughs> Here he 
he is with, some other, with another woman that he scribbled the face out of. Yeah. In a, Always good to not see at all. Here, he, here yeah. he is with a more attractive friend, not making clear yeah. which one he is. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and yeah. here's what looks like his bedroom, and there's an awful lot of weaponry on the walls. <laughs> just, a lot, just a lot of just a lot of broadswords and you're like mm, yeah mm. under anyway, it yes. says a bit about myself it just says if you want to know anything ask and then it'll be face <laughs> you don't want to know you don't want to know no he's misspelled hi three different ways in uh in the notes section yeah, and, then, and then later it says my backspace my backspace key is broken soz which hasn't got a fix <laughs> I'm very glad you agreed to this date. <laughs> no, actually, actually, sorry. Uh, Liz, do you want to? Do you want to? No, no, this? No, no, I, I don't no, know what it's like. This is. This is. This is. I should say. This is. This is awkward Tinder date is absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, just awkward. want to check in. Yeah. No, I appreciate the check in. So long as you don't tip the table over, accuse me of ruining Sweden, which genuinely did happen to me. One Tinder date. Well, you know what you did to Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> Never been the same since you invaded. <laughs> I've never even been. Uh, well, I mean, that's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweden. You've got to get Sweden. The number of times I've had Sweden on the phone crying. <laughs> she doesn't write, she doesn't call, she doesn't anything. <laughs> no. She went to bloody Iceland. <laughs> it's yeah. all working on a hillock. Yeah. No, no joke. He he was Swedish, and he accused me of being a feminist because he said he said there are no real books that detail my study, and I'm like, have you tried any literature? Um, him being uh, an awkward thirty five year old white architect who was very self-reflective uh and i said yeah any literature and it then said i was feminist and that feminists had ruined sweden therefore i was i was to blame for ruining sweden he shouted quite isn't, a lot isn't sweden like famously brilliant like yeah, but top not, happiest not richest right. peaceful educated country in the world ever yeah but that that's even 90 percent anyway. means 10 percent and he hates that <laughs> 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 sorry, Grant, you were trying to RPG. Oh, we're done. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry. I thought it was some sort of charity gaming stream. Okay, cool. Okay, so um, Lydia, you have you have, you have an, an an unpleasant bartender, which you can summon as an NPC. Does he keep trying to tell me about the fish he's caught? Uh, <laughs> explaining yeah, my own okay. job. Okay, like okay, no, he's not. Yeah. He ha he has he has a voice, a bad smell. He does keep. He does, oh, he's right in there. But the, the there's actually a little bit of tea left in that mug. The um, oh, like the more similitude. he talks about the more he talks about fish, the more like you know you know he's passionate about it and he's quite knowledgeable and it's maybe something like you can kind of enjoy that. And, like he's he's quite engaging talking about the different kinds of bait and stuff. It's cool. kind of something there, you know. I, I, I didn't know that you could do that with feathers and a catfish. No. Oh no, you can make a beautiful lady catfish. No, a beautiful lady butterfly to learn in all the fish. I and it's warm all over the rod. I mean, as a metaphor, it's definitely something. Right. So shall we go to the ball? Yes, yeah, sounds can good to go, me. Can we go in separate modes of transport? It's not that I don't want to be seen. Yes, that sounds slower. Have a staff, but, you know, <laughs> you, know you, you can just say you both arrive in... I just want it very specific that I'm not okay. in the same oh, place. Sorry, it's my, it's my voice. Tim, how do you get to the ball? Uh, oh, uh, do we have a garage? Uh, yeah, yeah, you've got a huge garage. It's 15 stories down, but yeah. Yeah, what's, what's in it? Build me a world, Grant. What's in the garage? Oh! Build you a world. You have. A, I mean, this is your garage. You have uh, the tower comes with a, uh, a beautiful array of cabbages uh, pulled by by fierce, uh, snorting black stallions, um, and uh, attended to by uh, broad-shouldered, uh, open-shirted stable boys. In there, right in there, in that carriage. Broad-shouldered, open-shirted stable girls. Just in there. I'm in there. Okay. Enjoying myself. Cool. I've already made yeah, a cocktail. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, sir. You here for the usual? The 
<laughs> usual carriage ride. Yeah, you're, you're a few usual rides, sir. <laughs> okay, we've talked about this innuendo thing, and I... Uh, no, no. I'm sorry, 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 we haven't really got wanking around these parts yet. I'm still learning. No, it's really... <laughs> you're doing it... You're like... It's, is it yeah. the mouth? Is, is it the open mouth, sir? It's the open mouth. You know, I'm I'm gazing into the maw of Satan here. I just need I just need you to drive me. You know, shut off's lovely. Love looking at drive it. you crazy. Got, no, got, sir. to no drive me to a party. In fact, if I could just invite ah. everyone also into the carriage, so I'm not on my own with this really <laughs> sexy stable hand. I'm just I'm just beckoning. I'm just furiously beckoning. Like make it less um. awkward. <laughs> More than there, sir. I understand. What are those no, you don't no, you've misunderstood. You do not. You specifically do not understand. I, be I best strap some more horses to this. Looks yes. like we've got a heavy. Looks like we've got a heavy caboose. Yes, you must. But do you have to say it like that? Is my question. Why can your Why can your caboose load not go unmentioned? That's my question. You, if you hire a sexy cart driver, you get sexy carts. I just checked the employment contract. Oh, it's the car. Hey? Listen, everything in here is sexy. <laughs> sexy cart driver. Yeah, horses as well. Do you see, do you see, how, you, see how you describe them? They sounded very light and muscular, didn't they? All horses are sexy horses. You all get in the big cart and drive towards the game. Mm, give us in the big cart. Uh, Lydia, I forgot to say, please move one point from um, Lover into Fighter. Yeah. Okay. I want the stream to end with this arriving. <laughs> <laughs> Tristram Shandy of the football <laughs> game. Uh, you find the if, so, so we are an hour in, uh, and we are about to start playing the game. I would like to say, uh, please do donate to the to the to the courses we have on offer. As, of a special import to me is Mind. I benefited from Mind um, at various points throughout my life. Um, I am I am mad. Which I don't think is the perhaps the PC term, but I'm using it for me. Uh, and Mind has been incredibly supportive of me uh, and many others like me throughout my life. So please give to them. And also, there are some other charities which I kind of glossed over, but they also seem pretty cool. They do. Uh, yes, uh, there is Action Aid, uh, which is focused on international poverty relief, and the Black, African, and Asian Therapy Network Hell yeah. uh, are working for better mental health provision in marginalized communities. And Wonderful. It's probably worth mentioning. Uh, whilst we were uh, titting around, I believe is the correct phrase. Uh, we went well over. We're at eight hundred past. The Breasting around, mark. please. Breast, sorry, breasting around. Um, chesting around. Let's make it inclusive. Um, mm. We're past the ten thousand mark. Um, we're, we're over halfway to the twenty thousand goal. So well done to you all. And it's Goodness last. Me. And it's last call for. Uh, we, there's a stretch call involving uh, Bryn reading things as uh, Hamid. So last call for those to go in. Grant the game. The game. Yeah, stop wasting time, Grant. Come on. Come on, Grant! Come on! It. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it. It is a dark and stormy Christmas. <laughs> Lightning. Um, cracks. Strikes yeah. the piano. Yeah, <laughs> lightning strikes the piano and it opens its eyes. Finally, I have come to laugh. Run away with me, Bellwether, or whatever your name was. <laughs> dong, 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 dong. Lightning also strikes where you are, at the Baron's Mansion. It's super haunted, folks. It's crazy haunted. Just ghosts all over. Lousy with ghosts. Come move for the ghosts in the back rooms, especially. But also, the Baron is having his yearly Christmas party. It's a masked ball, which it said on the invitations. Yeah. I just realised... I have sent my invitation into a mask. Ah. And I come oh, for a mask. Largely as a way to just kind of focus on something that wasn't the horny carriage driver, but very much inspired by the the ensuing conversation that I was listening to. So it's rather flirty, but it's somewhat flirty functional. Mask. Yeah. yeah. What is a flirty mask? It goes, uh. Yeah, it's basically like that horrible wink that he does. <laughs> That's what my mask looks like, but it's all origami, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Very sexy, yeah, okay. What I is swiftly refashioned oh. my false beard and moustache into a sort of beard, just poked two eye holes in it. Do you I'm, I'm making real... it look good. Do you have a real beard and moustache underneath? No, that would okay, be cool. silly. It would be, yeah, I'm sorry. Grant. You have a larger beard and moustache hidden underneath. <laughs> 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 I 
that would be a very yeah. surreal suggestion. I don't think that's, that would be very out of place. Yeah, yeah, I'm very sorry. I, I, um, I come, I come pre-masked, but I just unveil another layer of silk. Ah. Uh, so yet more silk. So, oh, so, so they have, they have a little hoarding. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually Venetian blinds. I've got these little pulleys, and it goes shink, shink, if you know if you need it quickly. So it's like, what's that? Basketball? Further. If you want to be quizzical, you just pull down on one side of it, and it's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is okay. a there is always a base layer of question mark embroidered silk that never. Goes. In fact, this is a good segue. My scar. I've got scars all over my hand and arm because I punched a mirror that caught sight of my uncovered face. That's how serious I am about keeping this face covered. Great. The uh, the party seems to be in full swing. Uh, you, uh, you, can, you, can, you can hear, yeah, 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 that's the stuff. Uh, there are, there's, there's maybe 100, 200 guests uh, dancing around, uh, swinging. It is, it is it's, I'm going to say it's Christmas. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still Christmas Eve. It's coming up to midnight on Christmas Eve. The midnight, the, the darkest, magicest time of all. Um, and the Baron is, uh, they, they are playing, uh, rocking around the Christmas tree, but with old timey instruments. Uh, Santa Baby, but with old, but like with a, with a cello. And stuff. Um, with a fife like... and a table yeah. and a um a hurdy-gurdy. Bagpipes. Yes. Yeah. A you, lot of these songs. Not are on the mournful. bagpipes, but you can hear bagpipes. You can hear bagpipes getting gradually louder. <laughs> I know where uh, that, yes. Um yeah, I just need you to know when it juices more dread than that. Yeah. It's it's Wait. kind of a bagpipe shepherd tone. Wait, it's just isn't the king of on his way? <gasps> Is, are I these am... sexy bagpipes? There's Big, no such like, thing. No, Big I Jim. speak to you as a as a Scotsman. <laughs> there is no such thing as a sexy bagpipe. That's One can be inspired. A bagpipe can be mournful. A bagpipe does not encourage one to get down. Although, if you know you're thinking about like the you know the the squeezing of a bladder, I suppose you could think of you know like the the, the bladder sack of. The... Stop there! What? Stop! I don't. I don't like that. This is going. That's what it's called. <laughs> It's called yeah. that. I'm not talking. No, I've been taken out of context, and I will be writing to my lawyers immediately. You are firmly in the wrong context. <laughs> so, people are dancing around, having a great time, um, and the Baron uh, is there. The Baron uh, is. Uh, he is an enormous, towering, M. Bison-looking guy. Big coat. Big shot, but like you, you thought the sable boy had broad shoulders? No, he's like, he's like some sort of noodle arm choir boy compared to this dude. He's 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 as wide as three men. Big bushy beard, beautiful he's golden to mask. Get doors. Uh, that, that's, that's why he lives in this big mansion. He had all the doors specially embiggened. Dunk, dunk. Yeah. Turn sideways. I think someone should attempt to uh, to seduce and waylay him. Shotgun, not me. I'll go for it. I like beards. My character does too. But um, boom. Anyway, yeah. Thank you all for coming to my ball this evening. It's me, the Baron. Everyone's like, oh, the Baron. <laughs> um, I trust you're all enjoying the punch. He uh, he grabs his cane. You can see it's, it's, it's a sword cane, it's a cane of similar design to yours. Um. Benedict, uh, but it, look, it looks it looks, it looks, it looks, it's more like a sword caper. It contains, it, it's a massive stick with clearly a claymore in it. <laughs> and he gestures over to the, to the punch bowl. Uh, just this enormous, gaudy uh, glass and gold um, construction with, it's got a little punch fountain in the center and everyone's gathered, ah, drinking and having fun with it. It's lots of fans, lots of masks, that sort of thing. Um, now, if you'd excuse me, I must away, but I have things to attend to in my quarters, but I shall return <laughs> just past midnight when the true festivities will begin. Until then, enjoy the pre-show. And, he, uh, and he, he, he marches off, I turn to dragging his ermine. I turn to the group and just say, what a ham. What uh, this is why we take against him because he can't just say I've kidnapped Santa. Oh, uh, thank you for noticing the ham, sir. It took me ages to make. You, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> first of all, what's your name? My name, Gervin. Gervin. Grunven. Grunven. It's Nordic. 
<laughs> Grunvan it is. This was a private aside, Grunvan. And you've come smashing in here with your ham based comedy. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? I'm terribly sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah you should I'll take tiger. my ham. I'll take no, my ham. No, 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 and I, no, I, no, no, no. I stab the ham on the end of the pointed question <laughs> and lift it up and then just like put it in the middle of the group for people to grab at. And then I just do this. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Shakespeare Company, having not been fed properly in months, swarm months. over the ham and like a piranha, there's just a delicious <laughs> ham bone left in the center. <laughs> Repertory theater is not a big payer, so they're just happy for the meal. <laughs> Exposure. They should be glad. I'm terribly sorry, sirs. I'll be off in a different room. Please continue with your private aside. So, so we need to. So you thought that was it was a it was a hammy performance, deeply erotic. Just just checking. Oh yeah, not... sure. We we all agree not, that the Baron not is deeply erotic. Yeah, okay. like nobody <laughs> thought he was. We hate him because he is so sexy, and there it, it is a very charged hate. Yeah, sort of. Very, very... Yeah. Uh, Sasha, small aside, um, can you turn your input down a smidgen? You're, you're peaking a little. Yes. That's right. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's got an, an erotic air. You know, I think we're all we're all open enough to say that, you know, the Baron's sexy, evil, but sexy, you know. Ah, uh, thank you for noticing the erotic air I had pumped in for I tonight's performance. I will hurt you with my sword <coughs> if you do not. It's me, the Baron! Oh, oh Baron! Oh, 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 you're going to hurt me with your sword. So I thought that you were waiting stuff, which doesn't make that better, but that's apparently my reasoning. <clears throat> mm, poor show. Yes, very poor show. Baron, Baron, how delightful to see you again. How, how are you? <clears throat> yep, still... Breathing that erotic air. Still... It's that, pink. It's <laughs> Breathing that sexy pink fog that you have pumped it, into your Christmas yeah, horror like house. Yeah, it's like pink Scooby-Doo gas. <laughs> It can't be. It's got to be carcinogenic. It can't be good for you. It can't be. It's the se it's the 1600s. We don't know about that sort of thing. It's just a fire, and you're burning things in another room, <laughs> pumping the smoke. It's burning like. It's burning. We've got, we've got Valentine's cards. We've got those heart-shaped boxes of chocolates. There's, and there's and there's and there's the same manservant, Gronwood, pumping away with some fellows trying to get the air through. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yes, the air is very erotic. <coughs> yeah, thank you. He Baron. towers over you, making you feel insignificant and a little bit turned on. <laughs> uh, Baron, I, I think we can come straight to the point, given, you know, how long it's taking us to do everything, but <coughs> come to our attention that you have taken Santa Claus. And I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I remembered, it. I remembered a joke I heard. What were you saying? <laughs> I hate, I hate dealing with you. It's always the, we are here to take Santa back. Right, right everyone? I, yeah, kind of, I guess. Or, yeah, yeah, sure. That that, that's I mean, I have to priority. beat my boyfriend at some point. And also, yeah. yeah, but yeah, no, Santa. Yeah, it's Ephes, yeah. Okay, you made no. Santa, we, we Santa first Claus choice. is a myth for children and idiots. What, really? Yes, uh, what? Uh, just uh, children and grown up people. There's no such, don't worry, I'm not going to kidnap and slay Santa on a big pentagram I've got in my room. To I mean, power an evil black spell? Why would you suggest such a thing? I mean, for completely separate mm. reasons. Uh, that sounds like a very nice room. I'd love to see it. I bet you would like to see it. Play your cards right, and you might just get the chance. He gestures <laughs> over at the, at the, at the lavish uh, Baccarat table. Uh, where all the oh, you meant, have you meant literally. Yes, that... literally play your cards right. One of the so big that's prizes the prizes is gambled for. <laughs> the prize is a date with the romantic. Yes, it's like one of those auctions. <laughs> it's on like a big wheel. Is it like one of those background games where you have to like throw a card, at, uh, throw a dart at a card? And, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. What to play Go that. on. <laughs> I'm just now. I'm picturing like a kind of fairground carousel sort of set game mm -hmm. um and no. you're the prize it's, it's there's some funny toys table. and then there's just you yeah <laughs> and, and all the prizes Big other hook. words otherwise are like what you'd expect at a local fair so it's like you know <clears> like a uh, like a, a travel Small kettle and a toy. twix and a cuddly yeah. toy and then a date plastic with the ball yeah. <laughs> yeah it's really bad okay, none of that is happening none of that is occurring there's no goldfish no is it there's no wurlitzers what kind of game is it? Is it like one what with, kind of party know, is this? 
just like a deck of cards, or is it like Mad Libs, or you it's know, Baccarat. Or, or is it like I higher, said, higher, lower, lower? I, I believe Baccarat is a sort of poker. Oh right, okay. Could be. I don't. I don't really know. Right. Well, I don't fancy any of our chances of winning out of the gate first time we play this game with very few ideas of the rules. But no. I think that you should give it a try, my Puritan brother. Yes, I mean it's uh, it's not obviously good by God's rules, but since I am trying to save Christmas, which is also illegal under the Christianity I practice, that must cancel it out. So let's gamble for sex. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the moral equation One me round. is tremendous. And if you don't get sex, you could get like a little cuddly toy. So <laughs> no, we've established that's not happening. No. <laughs> okay, so Grant, we're gambling for sex now. Cool. Yeah. The Baron, uh, unlike me, the Baron managed to walk entirely off screen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just knocked over a pop filter. So yes, <clears throat> I think I think consequences. This is our best chance. You need to win an evening with the Baron, and we can use that as a way to get in his room and disrupt his satanic purposes. Yes, that's why we would get into the Baron's room. <laughs> re re hashtag real talk. You can also kiss the Baron. When we're all I mean, if if the offer presents itself, I'm not I'm not gonna kiss him if he doesn't want to be kissed. But I mean that that beard looks right for kissing. But if you win at Baccarat, he has to kiss you, regardless of whether he wants to or not, and the fuck his party. That's that's what we've established, yes, that he's the one, prize. One assumes that he finds that an acceptable and enjoyable gamble. Yeah, yeah. okay. We can win. Okay. Well, the metaphysics of morals of that equation has now been established. <laughs> now that, yeah, I mean, he, he signed up for it and I'm sure that he, he has an X card if he's not down. I just yeah. hope he doesn't so use... So go to the Baccarat tables, whatever that looks like, and begin playing Baccarat and however Baccarat yeah. is generally traditional. Baccarat occurs. That like. So since I am a mastermind... Yeah. Can I attempt to cheat? Yes. And also learn the rules. Uh, let's, okay, let's, let's, instead of Baccarat, poker. Okay. Because we broadly so, know the rules of poker. Yeah, so how about, does that mean I get two dice to roll? Yes, absolutely. Because I'm a mastermind. Yeah, and this will be I... Under, uh, either lover or fighter. I don't know, lover, because you're doing it for love. Yeah. I am doing it for, for something poker. like love, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Hunter. I, I got a five and a three. Uh, Am I, is, it, is it the total? Oh, yeah. No, okay. Uh, so, so, so you're... Uh, because you failed really... at the last check. No, yeah. I, I guess there's a whole page to slog through, Lydia. <laughs> half, of, half of that is drawings I stole from a museum. <laughs> right. Um, no, I did read it. It just didn't stay in my head because then I was like, oh, I have to pick my favourite kiss. And then that... Mm. It mm. tends to fill yeah. the head. Could... Yeah, I mean, I should just, I should just, I should get into some of those itchio games where it's just like write about your favorite kiss, and set and put it on a put it on an envelope and mail it to the moon. <laughs> you, you have uh, yeah. your stat has gone so that your your fighter stat is four, your lover stat is two because it shifted. It is, on. It, it is, it is yes. Uh, and so even though you're rolling two dice to cheat at cards, you fail. Um, which means that you bad at this. I'm, I may soon die of um, love of heartbreak. Please move one point from fighter. Uh, one, one point from lover into fighter, giving you fighter five, lover one. Yeah. Ooh, you can Makes barely you die all. of heartbreak. You might get so horny you fall into a rage. That is that or is a crazy. hole. That is what the rules do say. <laughs> because yeah. because you're so distracted it by a it. Hole, just the <laughs> it's just a big pit, there. yeah. So I I think I need to fight someone to bring it back to. That is the traditional outlook. Mm. Kind of frustrated how, love, isn't it? How about this? It's so. I've I've got artistic performance as my feature and skill. How about I try and distract the room with a with a dramatic rendition about the wonder of Christmas? Um, and that sounds you, great. You use that point to try and fight one of the guards, whilst all the other guards, you know, like the guard that is guarding that one door that's at the party in a James Bond film. That's like the bad guy door. Yeah. Like there's other doors, yeah, but there's guy. one door with a guy next to it, and you're like, that's the door. Mm -hmm. You can use the Royal Shakespeare Company to like do a jig in the background. Yes. Or, um, <laughs> they say hungry now. They've tasted ham. <laughs> they've tasted ham. I, I lean down to and yeah. say, if, ham if, you, if you do well, there's lamb in it for you. Yeah, you like lamb, don't you? You like lamb. Yes. 
and and the and the best person gets to play Hamlet. <laughs> Come back to, we'll me, back to... to me. Back to me. Uh, yes, uh, we we'll, okay. we'll need to need to storm the stage. Uh, he says, uh, well, no, we need to sneak onto the stage. Uh, you can see there is a, uh, that's where the, uh, there is a centerpiece, like a, 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 a fanciful manger scene is there. Um, we but pushed the manger like, out of the way. <laughs> everyone, uh, everyone is, uh, the manger is fully gothed up. And so like Mary's wearing this, like, 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 a, like a, a beautiful gothic veil and a bodice. Uh, Joseph is there and he's wearing, like, he's just nothing but belts. Um, put those eyebrows down, Lydia. <laughs> and the other, thank you. Um, you're going to need to try and sneak onto here or bum rush it. But if you bum rush it, you might get stopped before you uh, I think we'll sneak. get a chance I'm, to. I'm a lover, not a fighter, I think. Um, okay, so... you're, you're equally both at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm both a lover and a fighter, but uh, we'll, go, okay, we'll cool. go love because Lydia, uh, because uh, Consequentious is hoving towards fighty. So let's keep the balance, mm -hmm. shall we? Okay. Um, so I'm going to try and love my, love my way onto the sneak stage. Okay. Make me a roll. You're a thief, right? Uh, I'm a pistolier. Okay, then no. That, unless you shoot someone, that doesn't come up. So yeah, go on. Uh, I may have rolled a one. Hooray! That's great. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's you the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, you want to roll under. Don't worry, it's fine. You lead uh, the, uh, the Royal Shakespeare Company. <laughs> Snuffling like big rats uh, behind you. Uh, through the uh, through the winding corridors uh, to backstage, when you were you were confronted by a ghost. <gasps> oh, it's me, the ghost of Christmas in general. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're too late. <laughs> I'm handling all of them. Cutbacks. I get it. I get it. We've had it. We have it at the monastery. You know, you dare disturb my festive slumber? Me personally, I I, I was yes. that a very large party was happening. Ghost of Christmas in general. Also, if you're the ghost of Christmas in general, and it's Christmas yes. Eve, I thought you'd be up. If I'm honest, <laughs> I thought you'd be up and doing. Wow, you're making some real assumptions about what it is ghosts do and like. What else am I supposed oh, to do? Oh, an expert on ghosts, are we? Look. I... Got your degree in ghostology from Spook University, did you? I'm gonna hold my hands up and say I made an assumption. You know, I'm I'm a mere mysterious. You got a PhD engineer. standing for pretty haunted dude. Well, actually, <laughs> actually, ghost of Christmas present. If you'll take a look at my backstory, I worked in the tent okay. of mysteries at a fair for many years, which is how I became so mysterious. And I'm very educated in therefore secrets, arcane knowledge, and the unknown. <gasps> Thank you very much. Checks out. Well, <laughs> I wanted to say, if you're here to perform some sort of strange mor morality play, I'm in. You're on board. I'm on board. I love it. Okay. Let's make it happen. <laughs> it's, uh, te big tens, everybody. And then I just start high-fiving the Shakespeare Company, big tens. And then we come to you. And it's, and it's, and it's, ah, 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 down, down. <laughs> Down and I just I throw a hunk of beef just to one side <laughs> to assuage them. It's a hunk of boiled beef yeah. <laughs> nearby nearby banquet table. I, no, I keep a satchel of boiled beef because I know what the RS, uh, the RS, uh, CLI. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why the globe is the globe is actually a pen, but and then they were like, well, no, but uh, it's okay. and then they built it up to make it more fancy. So yeah, so I throw a boiled beef and then we, <laughs> we we go up to the stage with the ghost of Christmas in general, the RSC as wild dogs and myself. Okay. <laughs> Um, the Baron is nowhere to be seen, um, and um, the uh, the the croupier on your on your back of our table, Lydia. Uh, as you sorry, turned over the page. Consequentious. Um, he's uh, he's he's got unusually long hair for a um, for a croupier, and usually long beard as well. Normally they're quite well trimmed. He's quite cut, but in a skinny way. Weird. Anyway, like like. Like, is that is it a hand injury? Sure, they wouldn't let him. He leans forward. Hi. You might want to. Sorry, he leans forward and says, Psst. Although I can't approve, although I can't approve you cheating at cards, I know why you're here. I'm here to save Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Are you Jesus? Yes, that's me. Right, cool. <laughs> Are you going to. I'm you, contractually obliged to be here. Right, yeah. Cutbacks. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Do you have a date? N- no. No, I, d- I, I, I caught a, a, a post, post Nicaea. I'm not into that stuff. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. No Thank children, no that. wives. Oh. Not even a brother. Ouch. That contradicts some things I've read. That's going to complicate things for many years. G- Jesus leans in and places one hand on your um, on your hand. Place one hand on your hand. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, it seems like Veracity Bonchance has won the Baron's heart. We oh. look over and we see Veracity Bonchance. A uh, and what you imagine? Imagine the uh, so everything about her is purple, aside from her porcelain ivory skin. Uh, purple hair. Purple dress, purple fan, purple glasses, purple mask. Those you... colours are illegal. I know. People have told people. I haven't read the Bible, but people that have have told me <laughs> somewhere at the back that 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 colours are illegal. And I know because I would look so much better in orange. But I am following your rules that are definitely put in the Bible. Listen. Yeah. Grabs your hand. Come with me. We're going to run off screen for a bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, and he he skips across a fountain because he's Jesus and go on. Right, so, Tim. He's somewhat undermines my plan because I'm creating a distraction for somebody who has now been whisked away by Jesus. So I'm assuming... Oh, no, 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 no. You were creating the distraction for the Baron. He's now making out with the, um, the, the purple lady. Absolutely not. No. Okay. What? Tim, your distraction... Yeah. Where's Rudolph? Rudolph? Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're just, we're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna bring it. We're gonna bring it down. Rudolph has, Rudolph has gone back to Lapland, where everyone sounds like this. Okay. <laughs> Tim. Tim. Yeah. Tim. Oh. I realised that there were two players during the game who hadn't really done anything yet. I understand. So what I wanted to do, stage. so we can tweak it. You can make the distraction for them. Yep. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But um, yeah, perhaps, perhaps sexy twin Jesus has his own moral- uh, morality, has his own <laughs> motives. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, uh... I say, what's this? Okay, Isn't this I have to say that I'm sorry. I know this is your more distraction, but Helen needs you to know that sexy twink Jesus got us to twelve k. <gasps> sexy Thanks, twink Jesus, Jesus bring in at home. What, what can't you do? <laughs> I bet he can't walk on water. Am I right, everybody? No, uh, he's doing but it. You can't. He's doing this. It. Oh, it's a great time. He's standing on the punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, he has a bottle of whiskey and just pours it in and everyone cheers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if uh, only the church had gone with that image for their marketing. Come on. <laughs> Think of the ratings. I say, some sort of stage show, is it? I wonder what's, I wonder what's about to go down. Just run into it, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody who has joined us here tonight. My name is Tombola Ignotum, and this is Tombola Ignotum and the Tombola Ignotum Christmas Dancers. And we start just sort of grooving and <laughs> jiving, and the Royal Shakespeare <laughs> Company are here just sort of like. And I'm assuming the ghost of Christmas right now is sort of like ethereally floating. Oh, the, 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 ghost of the ghost of Christmas is waiting in the wings for a big dramatic reveal. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so we're um, we're grooving, but we're grooving in such a way that spells out the you know the nativity. So it's sort of like somebody's doing a shimmy, and that's the star that's guiding the shepherds, and then somebody's doing sort of a rumba, uh, which is the archangel Gabriel. You know. The nativity. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know the you know the nativity like that, but we're doing this. Right. Okay. Give me a lover roll, please. And you, you get an extra dice because this is this is an artistic performance legally. <laughs> uh, two threes. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. I think. No. What? What's your, what's your current lover stat? Uh, three. Well, it was three. Did it change because I had a successful lover action earlier? Sure. Why not? So it's four, four, and two. Yes, two successes. Which is the same as one success, which means you create a brilliant distraction. Everyone in the audience is is dumbfounded by this incredible, this incredible surprise nativity play. Uh, there's lots of rumbas. There's uh, there's all those things you said, and it seems like even the even the guard is distracted. Uh, he's 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 sort of jigging away. He's like like he's 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 a stereotypical bad guy guard. So he's he's a big man, bald in a suit. Um, he's he's jigging away. What are uh, Brandenburg and Benedict going 
going to do to try and save Father Christmas now that they have basically the run of the place? Okay. Um, Sorry, go on. No, I was going to say, so do we need to kill the guard? I, I, I whip out the Queen of Sheba and ask for Solomon's opinion. And I just stab him. I just stab him right now in front of everybody. We're not going to mess around because time's ticking, right? So right, it's just can I get a fight to check, please? Yes. Roller's six, you say? Uh, D6, and try and get under your under the fighter score, which is three. Okay. Oh, D five, damn it. Um, five. You, you murder him. Oh, you, uh, you, you, you run him through. Um, but you do it in front of everyone. Um, yep. and, and some of them, oh, is this part of the plan? Oh, this is a bit avant-garde. Is this one of those experiencing? One of those, not experience, what's it, immersive theater? Can I... I Quick, can so I we, assist from oh, the stage oh, oh, and just yell, It's part of it! It's <laughs> part of it! <laughs> I don't think this is part of it at all, says the, says the captain of the guard running through. It's me, the captain of the guard. Sorry. Hang on, this is exactly what the captain of the guard was sound like. Let, let me take that again. She runs through, her red hair tied back, her tricon hat at a rakish angle. It's me, the captain of the guard, and I'm here to stop you. I, well, I seem to have painted myself into a bit of a stabbing corner here, so <laughs> I, I guess it's another stab, another wild flail of Solomon's opinion. I'm trying uh, to create some kind move, of... Move move one point from lover into fighter, so lover at two, fighter at four, and then, oh, and yeah. then see if you can um, generate uh, some opinion from Mr. Solomon. Two. Two! That's good or bad? I'm not sure. No, that's good, that's... Oh, that's a success. Uh, you, stab the, you, stab, you stab the captain right through the chest. Ah! Ah! Now, now this time, rather than standing waiting for the outcome, Sasha and I are going to run out the hall to look for Father Christmas, because he's got to be here somewhere, right? Yes. Uh, well, We've had so many distractions. There's been a lot of distracting stuff happening, and we, we're going to seize our moment? Or do we just stay I... here and play Baccarat? <laughs> I think Baccarat may be off the table now. <laughs> well, Jesus sure, yeah, has left, and he was the Baccarat croupier, so... That's true, yes. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, you, uh, the, the pair of you rush into the back rooms. Uh, now uh, that you, you, you fight your way through uh, the uh, swarm of guards after, after like, neatly defeating the, um, someone who apparently Twitch chat had called a wife for you. Uh, she got one line, and then she died, which is a shame. Aww. Um, I, I would have been such an interesting character, she says. Um, it's fine, they've got a thousand wives. <laughs> how, would I, how would I explain to my imaginary boyfriend that I had a wife suddenly? That would have caused issues in my imaginary relationship. That's true. He's real, you said. Yeah, no, he, yeah, no, definitely, he's, 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 he's real, and he'd be upset, right, so. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that, that's, that's, that's a good idea. Sasha, I've been told by chat we've gone slightly too far the other way. Can you split the difference on your mic input? It appears to have the, the most delicate of constitutions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sasha, so, what do you do next? You're, uh, you're charging around looking for Father Christmas. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Um... Let me just fix my mic. Is this that any is better? Fair. Yes, that sounds great. Cool. That's a good balance between the um, two. Oh, having seen um, Benedict basically, as far as I'm concerned, commandeer my date. Um, <clears throat> I would like to take the King of Scotland with me. <laughs> the King of Scotland <laughs> crouches in through a window. <laughs> he's, wearing, he's wearing his traditional regalia of a kilt. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're Ian! Hang on, you're a bloke, aren't you? You're yeah, right, pal! Yes, hello, big boy. I, how would you like to play the old hide the deep fried Mars bar? <laughs> <laughs> That is wretched, Sasha. Well done. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Sasha, Sasha buys the time. But when they come in, they come in big. 
Now, um, as you can see, I have found the perfect romantic setting. However, I was there. Well, 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 the bad dream of emotion. That there is I... some sort of baroness, baronesque occult dungeon. Oh, like heebie genies on that! I love that! Always gets me right going! I thought that it might. Let's do this! Now, Where's that guy in the alley on the phone? I was thinking we could do some sort of role playing <clears throat> scene beforehand. Oh, that's not take too long. Yeah, I don't think that's what the stream is up for, really. <laughs> Must attempt to. Oh, God, no. Oh, she's no. gone. She's frozen. <laughs> the Arctic wastes have taken. No, wake up. <laughs> bet you, bet you wish you stuck with me now, don't Mr. you? Mr. Brandenburg, no! <laughs> he disappears in a puff of smoke. <laughs> uh, well, let's let's all let's all take a moment to reflect as we wait. There we are. Oh, <sighs> how was it for you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll come back to you in a second. Just having fun with Jesus over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you and Jesus are uh, are creeping in to the. Uh, you're you're creeping uh, along in the attic above the Baron's room. Uh, you can hear under. You can hear coming from underneath us. Coming from underneath the floor. I think that's a recipe for icing. <laughs> Whisk the egg white <laughs> to <laughs> stiff peaks. peaks. <laughs> Turn over the bowl. If it doesn't fall out, you're done. Now you're actually over the kitchens where a series of monks are making some meringues. Cool. <laughs> hey. Aww. Hey, Sasha. Hello. I was uh, disappointed at the meringues. Um, yes, I, I managed to hear that we're in sexy baking now. Um, you are, uh, you, are, you, you, uh, you and Jesus uh, move over the top of the uh, of the kitchen and down onto. Uh, you, you can you, you can sort of peer through the like little cracks in the floorboards. You can see down into the Baron's room. Um, you and Jesus are are just. You, 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 you can feel Jesus's sexy breath on your neck. You're so close to each other in this cramped attic, and his his lovely his lovely beard. Brushing against your exposed skin. So soft, so curly. I know. I condition it three times a day. Now you'll see below. I, if I actually, I'll just have Grant describe it. Um, you can see um, <laughs> Santa has been lashed to a big pentagram-style object. My uh, the pentagram, I guess you could say. Um, he's, he's been lashed to the floor. Um, there are there are uh, freezing winter winds spiraling around. Um, around him, as the Baron, shirtless, and that shirt was that, that was that shirt was doing a lot of work. That shirt was strained and big, but now the big shirtless Baron, chest like a welcome mat, begging you to enter, walks forward. Uh, and, welcome uh, shaved into the hair on the chest. <laughs> <gasps> um, uh, takes off his party mask and puts on an evil mask. <coughs> uh, always and, suspected. And starts, and starts laying out a series of sacrificial daggers on a table. You can see all around there are there are monks. There are... Uh, so, uh, yeah, there are monks. Uh, there are cultist-looking guys in robes doing uh, uh, chanting. No, this 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 one sounds like Cthulhu or that. Mm. Bake Cthulhu now. at two hundred for four hours. Now, uh, yes, it's it's very it's very important that we don't do anything rash. We have to make sure that we time our attack perfectly. Bang! The door flies open as the King of Scotland kicks the door in, dragging Brandenburg Windlesnatch behind him. Big Where's this bed you said, Paul? <laughs> this character is a nightmare to try and balance the audio for. Let me just put that out there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll I'll, I'll speak a little bit quieter. No, no. I didn't realize. Didn't he realize you're doing it actively? Sorry, I'll come back down here. Each myself forty years. Oh, it's me. 
I was born in this pub and I'll die in this pub. <laughs> right, yes, I'll 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 stop shouting. Um <laughs> Sasha, you are now in charge of the scene. The Baron looks at you askance, all the monks stop chanting, the one monk playing piano. Bang dong 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 stops playing. <laughs> the doors swing. The door. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tumbleweed. Bartenders not putting all of the high, high value whiskies behind the bar. <laughs> Everyone's wearing spurs. How? We don't know, but it's. It's an extremely erotic scene. It's a sexy cult thing. <laughs> Horse uh, play. Trying to sort of weakly gesture to the bed and say, ah, pleasure lies just beyond breaking up this ritual very violently and quickly so we can save Christmas. Hoping to whip the King of Scotland into a, a lustful frenzy in which he can just kind of smash. smash please make me, please make me a, a, a lover check to convince the King of Scotland to save Father Christmas. Oh no, says sexy twink Jesus. It's all gone wrong somehow. Sorry, Sasha, what were you saying? Sorry, a two. Fantastic, the King of Scotland surges forth like a like a haggis from a cannon, <laughs> tears um, through the uh, yeah, tears through the uh, th through the carpeting, draws his. Um, oh, he doesn't have weapons. He's the king of Scotland. Draws his fists uh, and starts <laughs> uh, and starts <laughs> uh, and starts pummeling away at the baron with big meaty fists. Big sort of <laughs> it's like it's, it's like it's like it's like two hams being slapped together and you see there are in fact two hams being slapped together by that weirdo guy from before he loves foley he loves foley he's got he's got coconut shells if there's a horse involved mm -hmm. um he basically the, is the buffet at this point the baron the baron is being served off him like japanese sushi uh, you no know, no warm um, sushi warm body temperature well, sushi I mean, that's the, oh, it's a thing it's a thing for anyway, permits. yeah. Christian stream. The Christian stream. Um, the Baron uh, 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 grabs his big meaty fists and the pair of them, shirtless, wrestle around, um, knocking things to and fro, knocking over cups of poison. Uh, uh, daggers fall down from plinths and <laughs> into the floor. Um, and they are, they, they, are, they are very much embrangled with one another. In Brangle, eh? Is a good word. Yeah, I don't know whether I'm using it correctly, but that's what's happening. I say you are. I mean, it sounds correct. The, the, I think you might become... be using it for the first time ever. That's is it? It's the I action think, of. I think it's a word. It's the action of two bramble bushes being mashed together like natural velcro. Mm, yes, their beards interlock. So basically, <laughs> their, their body hair. Yeah. Well, luckily, uh, one of them has got body hair as eyelets, and the other has got body hair as hooks, and it just <laughs> it just catches. It's how it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All Scotsmen have body hair like eyelets. I can yeah. I can speak to this as truth. <laughs> this is fact. all uh, too much consequentious, uh, being above this level of beard entangle <laughs> wrangle action. Uh, and so he slams down on the thin attic floor, uh, hoping to like smash through the roof and Give land. Give me a fighter check, please. I will. One d six. Ooh, well, I got five, and my fighter is five. Congrats. Um, shuffle it down to four and put your lever at two. Woo! What happened? Two. Two people, not two. Uh... What happens? Uh, slams uh, on the on a quivery beam. The quivery beam is so tense, and then oh, snaps! Um, and consequences uh, slides out. Uh, because you 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 establish the attic not tall enough to like stand up in, so mm -hmm. break the thing, slide forward out, and then do a sexy somersault tumble turn. Mm. Um, and then land on their feet. Just feel like how, a cat. How, how does one make a somersault sexy? Can we see your bum? Uh, it's just really smooth and cool. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, and cool. controlled. And yeah, like like they're 
his it's like Legolas, he... like when he slides down. Yeah, and he's just like, thinking, but yeah, which was yeah. the competence like that, what's sexy. sexy. Like yeah. when you see yeah. somebody on yeah. a, somebody crafts like a really good chair, and you're like, yeah, that's sort of got hot. me going. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that, but what kind of somersault isn't sexy? Yeah, so a great point. Also a great. Sure, sure I can Sasha, arrange. Bring in the bring in the reason. <laughs> 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 just sort of goes uh, I, uh, sort. I I fall over I fall over halfway down upside down my shirt falls up and you can see my horrible torso <laughs> it's just got go away <laughs> shaved into the chest it's got go away written on it in black market <laughs> so um, uh, yes you, uh, you smash down into the centre um, the uh, you do a cool somersault. Santa's there, uh, straining against his bond. Santa, I should stress, normal Santa, not sexy Santa. Just a sort of standard ball full of jelly. Every other NPC has been sexy, aside from maybe the butler and the guy who touches cups. I I beg to differ that I find regular Santa sexy. So I mean, again, I have the beholder grant. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. Too. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a real big sexy man tied to the floor in here. It's the beard. It's the beard that does. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, it's a big beard. Yeah, huge, big, big bush of beard. Um, oh, a big bush of beard. Oh, a big bush of beard. Oh no. Uh, so, so, if, if I can, it's, it's just try and work this out. Lydia, uh, sorry, consequentious and Brandenburg are currently uh, kind of watching the fight happen between the King of Scotland and the Baron. Uh, you're, uh, um, Tombolo, you're still performing a, uh, a play. In a, so, yeah, in a different I, room? Yeah, I have plans, um, but yes. And, okay. uh, and the Reverend Benedict Avalanche, what are you currently up to? And then we'll cut back to well, I'm covered in blood from stabbing my wife, it turns <laughs> out. So <Yeah>. obviously, <laughs> I'm, I'm having a lot of feelings. Are you, are you still, like washing up in a in a in a bathroom or something? Uh, I think just staring down at my Puritan robes, wondering what I've done, wondering what my boyfriend will think, and then remembering he doesn't exist. You hear yeah. the sound of a car oh, pulling up. Oh, <laughs> it's Brother Monk Monk McCabbyson. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Brother Monk Monk McCabby. Oh, <laughs> great to see in. you. He's wearing two leather jackets. He's that cool. Wow. <laughs> Hey, that one in the world. One of his other oh. he's wearing is a mask. I don't know. I yeah. hope he's tucked up, otherwise it's going to get very sweaty very quickly. <laughs> he's also wearing a leather vest. It's fine. There you go. That's nope. <laughs> Doesn't help. <laughs> babe, babe, so sorry I'm late. Hey, come here. Give me a smooch. He leans in. Gives yeah. Okay. Other, it, it gives you a big smooch. It turns out this oh, guy was amazing. real after all. <laughs> Wow, what else that I imagined is going to turn out to be real? This is amazing and worrisome. <laughs> like, and on the one hand, it's like, this is great. I made a man appear out of my head. Oh. I imagined a lot hey. of frightening crabs at certain points. I hope they won't turn up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Benedict, babe. What are we here for anyway? What's the scheme? Oh, it's just, oh, it's like, oh, it's, it's really boring, but I kind of said that we would save Santa. So, like... Is that okay if you're just like, also, he, I really he, want everyone to meet you? He twirls Including... your fake moustache uh, mask around his finger. For you, babe. For you, babe. Oh. I'd save any mythical figure. Oh, that's that's amazing. And then, like, maybe afterwards we could, like, just just go for a walk and, like, talk about our feelings for a long time. So I realised, yeah, there's a little uh, there's a creek, I know, a little, a little bit away. You can hop in my open-top sports car and we'll drive down there. Brilliant. Okay, so all just, just real quick, honestly, it'll be, like, five... It'll yeah, be yeah. Like fifteen minutes maximum. Quick question: um, did, you, did you imagine me smoking? Am I that cool, or am I? Yeah, am I, I, yeah, I, yeah cool. Definitely. Thank yeah. God, because I do smoke. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, Excellent. here he, he he gives you a cigarette and leans it and lights it. Oh, so much. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> Thank God it's the seventeen hundreds. We don't know how bad these things are yet. Anyway. <laughs> so wishing I could smoke in my room right now. I'm like, oh. All four of okay. you. All four of you are now. Well, hang on. Actually, sorry. Yes. So you go to save Santa, Tim. Yes. 
So um, and like, I kind of awkwardly hold your hand, like brush your hand a bit, like it's an accident. But then I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna like hold hands. Oh, like like, like he, he he storms ahead, then leans back without looking and grabs your hand, and then and then walks forward. What a, what an absolute what an absolute dreambo this guy. Yeah. Can I wear one of his leather jackets just like over my stuff? Abs- yeah. Hey, baby, you look cold and sexy. Take my leather jacket. Yeah. He takes one of his leather jackets and his, his doctorate falls out. It's so great. <laughs> it's, like, it's like being in the end of Greece. Amazing. <laughs> you look terrible. You're wearing a catsuit. <laughs> and, your, and your car you're flies away at the end? Is that what happens in Greece? The car flies away. That is away. what happens in Greece. It's heavily implied that they die. Um, so. Um, I mean, they're all clearly in their early thirties, so like yeah, some, yeah, yeah. something it's weird is going on. It's yeah, but I, 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 like back in the late seventies, people didn't live much past thirty. No, no. no. It's... Tim, hello. What's your plan for for dismounting from the stage? So, so the sort of the show's ongoing. I kind of noticed that everybody I was making distractions for. Well, there was a fight, and I kept going. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, and there's medical attention. Like, there's medical professionals at the back, like trying to save the life of 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 this guard. I don't know if they did survive. I didn't pay attention. And I realized okay, the distraction's probably done. I have a question for you, Grant. How corporeal are this universe's ghosts? Is there is Can they like move things and lift things or are they totally incorporeal? Uh, I, how corporeal do you want them to be, Tim? I want to ride this ghost, Grant. So Hell how yeah. Corporeal. <laughs> yeah. In so what way? Um, like like a spectral horse. I want to sort of turn to ah. them and say like, you know, they've all, you know, I think um, everyone has gone to the, I don't know, the sexy black magic basement. Uh, we need to get there right now. And so like, can I, can I, can I, can I ride you to the basement is really the sentence I'm hoving towards. And uh, <laughs> that's what I'd like to do. I wish you'd asked earlier. <laughs> Hop on my broad spectral back. Oh, I feel the magic of Christmas tingling through my thighs. <laughs> that's blood that's disease. The <laughs> <laughs> it's blood disease from the ectoplasm. <laughs> um, oh, can I get I was, a? Yeah, I was going. Do I need to do a feel like I should roll for something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe a fighter check. Maybe a check. Blood disease. A fighter check. Um, so just check. So my fight is four. My love is two because I've succeeded on fighter rolls. No, it should cool. be five yeah, one because so... I've had two successes. So it's five five. Nah, five. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when to change it. Don't worry. Oh, okay, four two, four two. Sorry. Actually, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna make it five one. You might die. That could be fun. Go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can I just say I spotted the John Robbers raided us hello john and your hundred fans i don't really know what raiding is still but hello but they're here now hello john they are here uh right so i'm, I'm rolling i i my roll is three three <laughs> um that's good uh the ghost uh you managed to uh to, to drink the ghost away from trying to go through a wall there <laughs> no. knocking well, you well, out. well easy now remember yeah. corporeal <laughs> in corporeal. Uh, oh terribly sorry it's I okay. get confused. The fact that this um, is working at all is is truly amazing. So it's okay. It's straight. You wouldn't think you'd be able to ride me, but here we are. The magic um, of Christmas. Um, the uh, so the ghost of Christmas generally uh, deposits you in the room. Do, I, um, do we burst through a skylight? What are we doing? I uh, know. I burst through a skylight. Oh, sorry. I'm yeah. hoping that sexy twink Jesus followed me. Yeah, yeah, sexy twink Jesus is there. You burst through one of those hidden paintings. Yeah. Oh, just, cool. Well, actually, That's sorry, a hidden painting is just a painting that's in a cupboard. A painting with a, you know, there's you a know, cupboard. with there's the eyes cupboard. and the. Yeah. Yeah, there's a cupboard, and at the back of the cupboard, there's a painting, and like the right. Oh, a secret painting. Open, but you then also notice, like, was there also a painting back there? Because you can just see the shreds. <laughs> Yeah, I see it's painting of Nani. There's like a trick children. <laughs> and they would run full pelt into the back of the cupboard. Because <laughs> there's a big... <laughs> it's a trick. Idiot. <laughs> the Baron is very evil. <laughs> that, that's the Baron's evil dead wife from last year. But don't worry about her. <laughs> um, you, uh, um, all four of you um, and the Royal Shakespeare Company in its feral entirety and Sexy <laughs> Twin Jesus and Brother Monk Monk Maccabi, um, uh, uh, form a circle around Father Christmas, who's still tied to the still tied to the dais. We must say, um, the Baron throws <laughs> Big Jim, the King of Scotland, down to the ground, and he lies there. Ah, oh, oh, creeps! Oh, I've, been, I've, received, I've received a vicious drubbing at the hands of a superior opponent. 
you can see the Baron. The Baron's eyes are glowing with dark power, and his muscles are scintillating and swelling. No, I want to take a glass of water before I do the Baron. Uh, just to inject, we've earned, we've uh, we've raised three thousand pounds in this segment so far. Well done, everybody. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So I just want to, I just want to get that in <coughs> close to the end. Go. Ahead. That's fantastic. Yeah, my apotheosis is nearly complete. I will become the new king of Christmas. I, I will become the new Santa Claus. Sorry. Hi, sorry. What's apotheosis? Sorry. I just want to make sure this whole speech doesn't go on and I sit here thinking, what's apotheosis? Yeah, I was worried I might be yeah. able to get it from context, but what if I don't? Yeah. You know, what if, what if I don't? Yeah. So it it's it, the opposite, isn't it? It's an important work there. It means becoming a god, sort of. Your boy did it. He, he he did it when he went up. Your boy Jesus. Oh, Je oh yeah. Jesus! Did you? Hey, Jesus. Jesus. How's yeah. the proof AI business going? It's fine. I was I didn't I didn't I didn't realize you spotted me infiltrating your castle. <clears throat> anyway, seeing as no one can stop me, and he, uh, he 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 flexes his enormous muscles, and a ring of hellfire bursts out around him, pushing everyone back. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, hey, oh. He raises his he raises his hand. He raises his hand and encants. He raises his hand and one of those one of those big old evil daggers flies up to it and he starts he starts to walk towards the restrained form of Santa. Now, Lydia, what we what what is it you wanted to do? I was gonna try and stab him. Sounds good to me. You're gonna need to brave this wall of fire. I'm fine with that. Yeah. yeah fine. Um, Jesus is your boyfriend. He can help out with that, surely. Jesus is my boyfriend. Firstly, second. Yeah, I don't want to put. I don't want to put a label on it or anything. Century, like... Well, I mean, you act like someone's boyfriend. What do you expect them to think, Jesus? I yeah, mean, right. Like just, we were uh, just. Uh, uh, you said I can be a dick about it. Breath it on my a... on my neck in the attic. Okay, um, okay, okay, okay. It was a tight attic. We were moving. Right. I mean, I'm into it, but I just, I just think I'm ready for a committed seven relationship. Seven minutes left. Seven minutes left. Gonna stab, stab, gonna stab this saint right in the chest. Okay, Lydia, Lydia, you've lost your chance. You're arguing with Jesus. Santa, what are you up to? I would like to untie Santa. Sounds good to me. Give me a fighter check to burst through that big ring of fire. I have a two. Um, can I, can I say that, okay, my skill is performance. But um, I have said that I am a stump person, therefore I would like to be particularly good at safety knots, etc. Hell yeah, that sounds great okay. to me. So I, I was, ex I was expecting here. something much more blaggy than that. Okay, no, I got a six and a five. That is not ideal. You catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of safety. I, no. I uh, have please. somehow tied myself up. <laughs> You you tied yourself underwater in a safe. It's titillating, but <laughs> it's mildly titillating because that's all we're allowed on this stream. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I I think that ship is I think that titillating ship has sailed a little bit once I started describing the Baron. To be honest. Um. Okay, I've, uh, I've got acrobatic skills. Hell yeah, make it happen. Yeah. So what do I need to roll? I'm gonna like. What you do? Over the ring of fire and land yeah, on right. the soft landing of Santa. Is okay, please landing. make me uh, maybe a fighter check, please. Uh, hang on. I five. Is that right? I lost one. Yeah, yeah. Four, one. four, four. Four. Okay, let's say four. Two Three dice five. under four. Two dice under four. Okay, I've got a one and a one. No way. Brilliant. Fantastic. You land. Uh, astride Santa and Perry, the um, the big the the big wavy dagger coming down, bah! says the Baron. His enormous demonic muscles um, flexing as he as he pushes down with an un un unimaginable level of force. He's, he's... I block him with the Queen of Sheba and pull out <laughs> Solomon's opinion and begin to cut the. Uh, bonds holding Santa oh, in place. Right. Try not to nick his beard as I do so. Brilliant. So this um, does happen a bit. Priorities. Can imagine how impressed Brother Monk Monk McCabe must be at this point. I know his cigarette's like fallen out of his mouth and he's gone, oh, Sandy! Like that. It's really <laughs> impressive. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's but... also Scooby Doo, it turns out. So <laughs> I didn't mention that. Uh, <laughs> him. Um, so uh, with with um, 
the Baron parried. I'm still on the ghost. I, I take out the pointed question, put it in front of myself, and sort of like do the, the, the with a horse, geeing with the feet on the ghost to charge, sword pointed like a lance, into the back of his mm. head. Brilliant. Make me a, maybe a fighter check, please. Five. What's your fighter score? Five. Yes! <laughs> Um, you uh, you you spear the Baron with your stock clean through the back of the head. Um, and it, and it, and <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah. Are we allowed to describe graphic injuries? Or let's keep it a little general. It doesn't go well for the you Baron. Let's put it like that. You spear your Baron under one arm with the stock, <laughs> and, it, 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 and it, it looks to have come out the other side. And he really says, <laughs> he says, um, you can uh, you can feel like the the uh, the sword shaking bucking in your hand as uh, as as almighty demonic power starts to rise up around imogen you free you free father christmas uh, uh he, he 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 staggers to his feet oh thank you for saving me um why it's why it's the reverend benedict very reverend benedict avalanche isn't it it is. I think I've been pretty, pretty good this year, Father Christmas. But I don't oh. think that now is the time to discuss no, no. You've my already, remuneration. You've already received your present, Benedict. And he looks over at Brother Monk Monk McCabby. Oh my God, that was the end, Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of Christmas magic. Wait. Oh. As, um, as, as as the Baron starts growing enormous wings, um, Lydia, solve this. Uh, Work with yes. Solve yes. this. Oh, no, I can't even see. Wait. Oh, oh, what the? Like, I'm just going to... Uh, uh, goes over and... and I, being a mastermind, uh, I'm going to do something really clever, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, I'm going to find the ropes that were left over from tying up Father Christmas and hook together the wings while they're trying to grow so that they tangle up and he dies. How clever. Make me a roll, please. That's a fighter, I'm going to assume. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Cool, cool. And as mastermind, so I get to use two dice. Yeah, two dice. Ooh. Uh, ooh, good. One was a six, but one was a one. So Fantastic. I... Yay! You, Yay! You bind up the Baron with big, sexy ropes. Um, and uh, and uh, his his wings his wings buckle against the ropes, but these are good old fashioned baronic ropes, so they're they're, they're going to hold out. These things are designed to hold in a demon. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, as uh, as as Santa dusts himself down and stands up to his to his full unimpressive but Santa like height, um, the Baron uh, it seems like it seems like the Christmas power is uh, the demonic power is 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 wearing off. As he as he 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 drops down to one knee. Oh um, goodness me! My, goodness I just realised we were at the stage of our relationship. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just had the two knees then. <laughs> okay. He drops down to two <laughs> knees. Um, exhausted. <laughs> that's worse. Exa exhausted, panting, breathing heavily. What? As the ropes fall. At Fall aside, you can see that his uh, his his enormous chest is smoking and and streaming. Oh, it uh, is and, smoking. And and, and, and stealing. Oh, I've been, I've been defeated. Yes, you have been defeated, says Father Christmas. And you've been a very bad boy indeed, Baron. For you, only Cole. And I think maybe Consequentius might want to get off you as well. Off you as well, but we'll we'll deal with that in time. I but, guess it was, yeah, but fine. Ca uh, Father Christmas turns to camera. Well, thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> it's been a real exciting show. If you've been affected by any of the issues raised in tonight's stream, you can call the number on screen now to talk through with a trained professional. I'd like to thank you all for donating to our three charities today and getting us over that wonderful stream limit goal which we had. And mm. to everyone, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.